पेपर नंबर फिफ्टी टू पेपर नंबर फिफ्टी टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सेवेंटी इन दिस सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सेवेंटी हाउ मेनी पर्सन आर देयर देर आर एट पर्सन सीटेड अराउंड सर्कुलर टेबल एंड सम ऑफ द पीपल आर फेसिंग द सेंटर वाइल सम ऑफ द पर्सन आर फेसिंग अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर एट पर्सन सम टूवर्ड द सेंटर एंड सम आर अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर now in these type of questions first we should always check out for the information whether any regarding any person facing the center or not is given or not now here b faces the center clearly given eight persons b faces the center hence we are fixing b at this place and g sits the second to the right of b g sits the second to the right of b g will be at this place f sits the third to the right of g and if he seated third to the right of g then how many possibilities we can have there are two possibilities either f can be at this place then what is the other possibility here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if b is self facing towards the center g will be here and f will be here f sits third to the right of g and if he seated third to the right of g in this case g will be away from the center and in this case g must be towards the center f sits third to the right of g c is an immediate neighbor of both f and h as c is an immediate neighbor of both f and h here c and h C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H. Here, C can be either here or H will be here. Or if C is here, H will be here. There are two possibilities. And H is not an immediate neighbor of B. As H is not an immediate neighbor of B, and so H cannot be at this place. H is here, and C will be here. H is not an immediate neighbor of B. C faces the same direction as G. Now here G is away. C is also away. Here G is towards the center. C is towards the center. And A sits to the immediate left of D. As A is to the immediate left of D, these two persons A and D must be together. Hence, A R D, A R D will be at this place. If A and D are at these two places, then E must be at this place. And similarly, here also A and D must be adjacent to each other. A and D will be in these two places, and E will be at this place. A sits to the immediate left of D. Neither A nor B is an immediate neighbor of B. Neither A nor B is an immediate neighbor of neither A. Nor is an immediate neither A nor neither A nor D. It is not B. It is D. Neither A nor D is an immediate neighbor of B. Hence, A and D cannot be an immediate neighbor of B. Hence, A and D cannot be this place. The second case is completely ruled out. As neither A nor D is an immediate neighbor of B, and immediate neighbors of B face the same direction. And that means C and F are facing the same direction. E sits second to the left of A. As E is seated second to the left of A, A will be here. And E sits second to the left of A, A is facing the center. As A is facing the center, immediate neighbors of B faces opposite directions. Immediate neighbors of B faces opposite directions, and F faces the same direction as A. F faces the same direction as A. F is facing towards the center, and this will be D. Done with this. Now we need to find out the direction of these persons as well. Then, first one, G sits second to the right of B. B is facing the center. B faces the center, and F sits third to the right of G. F is seated third to the right of G. C is an immediate neighbor of both F and H. H is not an immediate neighbor of B. C faces the same direction as G. C and G are facing out outside. A sits to the immediate left of D. As A is to the immediate left of D. And this D must be facing the center. Then only A is to the immediate left of D. Neither A nor B is an immediate neighbor of B. Immediate neighbors of B face the same direction. That means E and F are facing the same direction. E and F are like this. E sits second to the left of A, and immediate neighbors of B face opposite directions. B is immediate neighbors. Then, immediate neighbors of D face the same direction. Immediate neighbors of D face the same direction. Here. This is not B. This is D. Immediate neighbors of D face the same direction. As immediate neighbors of D face the same direction, these two persons are like this. Then, next one. E sits second to the left of A. Immediate neighbors of B face opposite directions. Immediate neighbors of B faces opposite directions. As immediate neighbors of B faces opposite directions, earlier E is F is facing the center. And this E must be away from the center. E must be away from the center. Clear now? 
and so how many possibilities we have we have finally we have left with only one possibility b is facing the center f is also towards the center c is away h is towards d is towards a is also towards the center g is away from the center and e is away from the center clear here there are two corrections in this one here it is d and again one more correction is also there Let us write down this arrangement. Then question number 71 to 75, as 71 to 75 coded inequalities, 71 to 75. Then 76 onwards, now question number 76 onwards, 76 to 80. Now in this question number 76 to 80, now it is based on input and output. Now, in this input output, how many statements are there in this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, isn't it? Hence, 12 elements are there. How many steps are there? 6 steps are there, which implies that in each step, exactly 2 to elements are arranged. Then, let us check out the final logic here. Complete duty, priority, secure work and you. All these words are arranged in the alphabetical order. And again, the numbers are also arranged in the ascending order words in the alphabetical order and the numbers in the ascending order. Then check out this one. Then how these elements are arranged here? Now you were arranged at the first place, you were shifted to the second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place and finally at the sixth place. Once you were has been arranged at the first place, then it is shifted to the further places left hand side. And similarly, now 12, 12 arranged at the first place, shifted to second, third, fourth, five, six and so on. Highest word arranged at the first place, further shifted to the next places, and the next highest word work and so on will be arranged here. And similarly, 12, next highest number to 12 is 45, next to 45 is 55, and so on. Hence, all these elements are arranged at the last place, and all the words are arranged at the first place. Further, words are shifted to the left hand side position, and the numbers are shifted to the right hand side. Clear now? Now this is how these five questions are based on the same logic and the same pattern, 76 to 80. Then question number 81 to 85. Now in this question number 81 to 85, what is information provided here? Eight people, PQRS, TUV and W, live on separate floors of a eight floor building. Isn't it? Eight floor building, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 8 persons living on 8 different floors, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and again. 8 persons living on 8 different floors. Then what is the first information here? T lives on floor number 4. T lives on floor number 4 and only 2 people live between T and Q. Only 2 people live between T and Q. As only 2 people live between T and Q, Q will be at the 7th place that is one possible T. If T is here, only two people between T and Q, only two people between T and Q, and again Q can be at the first place. Then W lives immediately above you, W lives immediately above you, and W lives on an even number floor. W lives on an even number floor. Now in case one, W cannot be on the 8th floor, cannot be on the 6th floor, cannot be on the 4th floor. And so W is here, U is here. And in the second case, and W is an even number floor, cannot be 2, cannot be 4, and cannot be 8 as well. And so W and U must be in these two places, U and W. W lives immediately above U, W lives on an even number floor. Only one person between R and P. One person between R and P. As one person between R and P, P lives above R. P lives above R, there is only one person between R and P. Hence, P and R can be like this, or P and R can be like this. How many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities in case 1. And in case 2, there is not even a single possible because there are no alternate places. P and R cannot be here, cannot be here. In the second case is completely ruled out. Now, we are left with only one case. And P lives above R, P lives on an odd number floor. As P lives on an odd number floor, P cannot be at this place, isn't it? And so P must be on the fifth floor, and if P is on the fifth floor, and R will be on the third floor. 
then only one floor in between, only one person lives between V and S, and S lives above V, S lives above V, and so what is the final order here? SQ, VP, TR, WU is the order in which these eight persons were seated. And this is about question number 81 to 85. Let's write down this arrangement. Then question number 86 to 90. Now these five questions are based on syllogism, 86 to 90. First write down this arrangement, then let us discuss about these five questions. 86 to 90. Now in question number 86, now three statements followed by two conclusions. All triangles are gases. All these triangles are what? All triangles are gases can be written as all the triangles are gases. All triangles are gases. All gases are solids. All triangles are gases. All gases are solids. Some solids are cones. Some of the solids are cones. First one, no solid is a triangle definite is false. Because all triangles are solids means no solid is a triangle, definitely false. Then coming to the second one, all cones are gases is a possibility as all the statements are affirmative. We can write as a single diagram and she definitely follows. Then what is your answer here? Only two. Only two follows that is choice three. Question number 86, choice three. Then coming to question number 87. Now in this edition, all sounds are voices. All these sounds are what? All sounds are voices can be written like this. No voice is a noise. Voice and noise cannot be intersected. And all beats are noises. All these beats are what? Noises. No beat is a sound definitely true. No noise is a sound. This is also true. As both the conclusions follow, to make these two conclusions false, now we should prove the complementary pair. No beat is a sound in order to prove this one. Now we should prove some beats are sound. Tell me, is it possible to draw beat like this? No, if you draw like this, then no noise is a voice will be false. Alternate diagram cannot be drawn, this will be true forever. Then coming to the second one, no noise is a sound. Here again, in order to make this one, now we should draw noise like this. If you draw noise like this, no noise is a voice, voice will be false. And this also definitely true. As alternate diagrams cannot be drawn, and so both the conclusions definitely true. Hence, a choice four. Question number 87, choice four. <coughs> then 88. Now question number 88, some wheels are tires, some of the wheels are tires can be written like this, some wheels are tires, all tires are brakes, all these tires are brakes, all brakes are clutches, all these brakes are clutches and all brakes, first one is a possibility and all brakes are tires, all brakes are tires is false because all tires are brakes is true but as all brakes are tires is false. Second one, all brakes are wheels is a possibility as all the statements are affirmative we can take it as a single diagram and it is also possible. And so what is your answer here? Only one follows, that is choice 4, 88 choice 4. Then coming to question number 89. Now in this 89 also based on the same, isn't it? Some wheels are tires, some wheels are tires, all tires are brakes, all brakes are clutches. And now sir, this is also based on the same statements. Then question number 89, first conclusion. Tell me what is the first conclusion here? Some wheels are clutches. At least some is nothing but a definite conclusion and it is almost, it is equals to some wheels are clutches. Now in this one, some wheels are clutches definitely true because this is intersection of these two. And second one, all tires are clutches. All tires are clutches is also true. And so both the conclusions follow choice 5. 89 choice 5. Then coming to question number 90. Some spectacles are lenses, some of the spectacles are lenses, and some lenses are glares, some lenses are glares. Now first one, no glare is a spectacle, definitely true, and some spectacles are glares is false. Now as the first conclusion is true, it is a negative conclusion. To make this one false, now we should draw its complementary pair, that is some glares are spectacles. Tell me whether we can draw some glares or spectacles like this or not. Hence, what happened to this one? Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. After making the previous conclusion false, now we should check out the second conclusion which was false earlier. Some spectacles are glasses. Now it has become true in the second diagram. Hence, if the first conclusion is true, second will be false. And if the first is false, second will be true. Then what is your answer here? Either one or two. Either one or two, that is choice three is the answer. 
done with this now question number 90 choice 3 then 91 to 95 now 10 people are seated in two parallel rows containing five people each in such a way that there is an equal distance between each adjacent persons row 1 pq are ascent and all of them are facing towards north yes so how many persons are there 10 persons 1 2 3 4 5 and another 1 2 3 4 5 now in this one who are the persons here p q r s t and in the next one and then the next one a b c d and e are the persons are seated and all of them are facing south each person each person also works for a different company next one condition number one p sits at one of the extensions of the line as p sits at one of the extremes of the line this is one possibility and what is the second possibility here and the second possibility wherein we can have p is at this end p sits at one of the extremes of the line and faces one of the immediate neighbors of a this p, p faces the immediate neighbors of a a must be here and in this case p is facing the immediate neighbors of a a must be at this place only one person between a and the one who works in panasonic a and panasonic panasonic and the person who is working in panasonic will be here and similarly here also a and Panasonic must be at this place. Only one person sits between A and the one who works in working for Panasonic. A faces one of the immediate neighbors of R. A is facing one of the immediate neighbors of R. R is here. And A faces one of the immediate neighbors of R. R is at this place. And the person working for Philips sits to the immediate right of R. Working for Philips sits to the immediate right of R. Philips is here. And working for Philips sits to the immediate right of R. Philips will be at this place the one who is working for Philips sits to the immediate right of R and C and B are immediate neighbors of each other C and B are immediate neighbors of each other C faces the one working for Ken and C and B are immediate neighbors of each other as C and B are immediate neighbors of each other if C is here B will be here or if C is here B will be here isn't it and there are two possibilities as of now and C faces the one working for Canon C faces the one working for Canon C cannot be at this place. Why C cannot be at this place? Because if C is here and this C is, C must be opposite to Canon. And can C be at this place or not? And C can be at this place or not if C is here and C faces, and C faces the one working for Canon. Hence R can be Canon, isn't it? And C can be either at this place or C can be at this place. There are two possibilities. Similarly, here also. C can be at this place or C can be at this place. There are two possibilities. And C faces the one working for Canon. The one working for higher is an immediate neighbor of B. The one who is working for higher is an immediate neighbor of B and C does not work for higher. As C does not work for higher, then tell me where can this C be? And is an immediate neighbor of B. If C is here, then B will be here. If B is here, and the person who works for higher can be at this place or if C is here higher can be at this place and Q sits exactly between S and the one who works for Sony S and the one who Q in between S and the one who works for Sony Q cannot be at this place because S must be adjacent to this one which is not possible hence Q works in between S and the one who works for Sony now sir Q in between S and the one who works for Sony and the person who working for Sony must be at this place and Q in between S and the one who works for Sony and Sony is here and S will be at this place then Q sits exactly between S and Sony only one person between D and the one working for higher D and the one who is working for higher there must be exactly one person as there must be exactly one person between D and the one who works for higher higher could be at this place or at this place then if you take a higher at this place d must be at this place or if you take a higher at this place d must be at this place isn't it and then and they're working for higher d does not for work for hitachi and d does not work for hitachi the one who is working for samsung sits to the immediate left of t samsung is seated to the immediate left of t this person is t and this person is t samsung is to the immediate left which is not possible the second case is ruled out as t is here and the person is working for Samsung must be at this place. Done with this? And the one working for HP and the one working for Dell face each other. HP and Dell are facing opposite to each other. 
as a HP and Dell are opposite to each other, then what is the only possibility here? Here, HP and Dell are opposite to each other if HP is here and Dell will be here or in the reverse order. And the one working for HP faces south. As the one working for HP is facing south, hence HP cannot be at this place. Hence, the one who is working for HP is A. And, and who is the other person here? And Dell, the person working for Dell will be here. Then, coming to this one information once again, P sits at one of the extreme ends of the line and one of the immediate neighbors of A faces and faces one of the immediate neighbors of A. Only one person between A and the one working for Panasonic. A faces one of the immediate neighbors of R. A faces the immediate neighbors of R. The person working for Philips sits to the immediate right of R and C and B are immediate neighbors of each other. C and B are immediate neighbors of each other. C faces the one working for Canon. As, as of now, C cannot be at this place. Why C cannot be at this place? Because if C is here, then this person C faces whom? Faces Sony, but not the person C faces the one who worked for Canon. And C is here, and the person who is working in Canon will be here. As Canon is here, and B is an immediate neighbor of, and the one working for higher is an immediate neighbor of B. One working for NC does not work for higher, and this person works for higher. Isn't it? And C does not work for higher. Q sits exactly between S and only one person between D and the one who works for higher. Hence, D must be here. As D is here, then who is the person here? E will be the person here. And D does not work for Hitachi. As D does not work for Hitachi, then C works for Hitachi. If this C works for Hitachi, then what is left over here? Time X. Now, this D is working for time X. Clear enough? And this is what the information we have and the final arrangement regarding this 10 person. And this is about question numbers 91 to 95. Then after this 91 to 95, then first write down this arrangement, then let us discuss about this 96 to 100. Now, in this 96 to 100, what is information provided here? Ninety-six to hundred. Now, presidents of five different countries will be visiting India to participate in the global seminar on pollution. I am Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, cannot speak English or Jonka. While Olshuzen Absanjo, president of Nigeria, is conversant in both Dutch and Jonka. And Jiang Jemin, president of China, can speak Mandarin, Mandarin and English. And Queen Margaret. Two of Denmark and President Joseph Estrada of Philippines can speak English and either Jonka or Dutch, though not necessarily respectively in the same order. Each of them speaks exactly two languages of the four languages. Clear enough? Then tell me what is the information given here. Now, first, who is the first person here? Putin. Now, this Putin is from where? Now, this Putin belongs to Russia. Putin belongs to Russia and next one. Who is the other person here? Obsanjo, Nigeria. Obsanjo and this person is from Nigeria, Nigerian president. Next one, Jemin. And Jemin, president of China. And this Jemin, president of China. And who is the next one here? Queen Margaret. Margaret and from Portuguese, Denmark. And this person is from Denmark. And next one, Estrada, from where? Estrada from Philippines. And how many languages are there in total? English. As tell me, what are the languages? English is one. And next one, English and Jonka, isn't it? Jonka is the second. Next one. As what are the remaining two? Dutch, Mandarin, and English. English, Jonka, Mandarin, and what is the other thing left over here? Dutch, Mandarin, and Dutch. Mandarin, and the next one is Dutch. And so, how many languages? 
there are four languages and each of these persons speak exactly two of these four languages each of these speaks exactly two of the given four languages then then tell me what is the first information here and put in present of russia cannot speak english or jonka cannot speak english cannot speak jonka and each of these person speaks exactly two and the remaining two are left over for this putin and this putin must speak mandarin and dutch next one and alsanjo of sanjo of sanjo present of nigeria is conversant in both dutch and jonka dutch and jonka hence dutch and jonka both these two are tikentik and these two must be cross and cross that means this person cannot speak in english and a mandarin next one and queen margaret two of denmark and president joseph of estrada of philippines can speak english and one more regarding this china and whatever this chinese president here speak mandarin and english mandarin and english and the remaining two are he cannot speak the remaining two and president and margaret queen margaret two of denmark and president joseph estrada of philippines can speak english now these two persons can speak english and and either jonka or dutch either jonka or dutch means if this person if this person is jonka isn't it then this person will be dutch will be ruled out or if this person is jonka this person will be dutch or if this person is jonka this person will be dutch isn't it hence what are the possibilities here now and between these two languages now these two persons are re- speaking only one that means these two persons are not speaking these two languages at all isn't it these two persons cannot speak mandarin at all hence english and between these two if margaret speaks jonka then this person philippines and estrada speaks dutch or if this person speaks mandarin jonka this person will speak dutch clear and this is about question number 96 to 100 then question number 96 what is given in this one 96 here which of the following can act as an interpreter when jiang zemin and president of nigeria wish to confer now jiang zemin can speak only two languages that is english and mandarin and and the president of nigeria and this person speaks jonka and dutch there is no not even a single language which is common between these two then tell me whether this putin acts as an interpreter or not now this putin speaks what are the two languages this putin speaks now this putin speaks mandarin and dutch now sir if this person this the chinese president is speaking mandarin hence this putin speaks with the chinese president in mandarin and translate the same thing in the dutch isn't it are you following this one or not because this person putin speaks both these two languages mandarin as well as dutch and so the with chinese president he speaks in mandarin and the same thing he will translate this one in dutch to whom to the nigerian president and the first one is possible or not yes it is possible then coming to the second one either queen margaret or joseph estrada then what happened to these two these two persons are anyhow speaking english as these two persons are speaking english and this person nigerian cannot speak english and at the same time if this person speaks then margaret if this margaret can speak either jonka or dutch if this person speak jonka then he can translate directly speak with them or if this person speak this one then also it is possible and so what is your answer here one is possible and two is also possible then what is your answer here third one president putin and either queen margaret as the combination hence what is your answer here any one of the other three executives clear now any of the three other executives can definitely conversant with this person and that is about question number 96 the 97 which of the following cannot converse without an interpreter president of russia and philippines tell me whether these two persons can talk with each other or not and russia and philippines russia and philippines is there any common language here there is a common language what is the common language here and dutch is the common language hence that is ruled out isn't it then now president of russian and cannot converse without an interpreter interpreter 
now president of russia and president of philippines now these two persons can directly speak with each other then what is the next one here and queen margaret and vladimir putin now queen margaret and putin whether these two persons can speak with each other here yes no sir this putin what happened to this putin here this putin can speak either dutch or this one if this person this margaret also speaks this one isn't it then there is a possibility then what is the third one here of sanjo and jiang jemin of sanjo and jiang jemin cannot speak with each other at all then what is your answer here as question number 97 which of the following cannot converse without an interpreter as which of the following cannot converse here either one or two and three either one or two why either one or two here russia and philippines russia and philippines can directly speak with each other or not which of the following cannot converse without an interpreter russia and philippines and russia sorry russia and philippines russia is this person and philippines is this person isn't it now these two persons is there any language which is common here as of now it is not and these two persons this estrada speaks in english and between these two only one language if this person speaks english and dutch yes he can directly speak with putin or if this person speaks jonka he cannot speaks with dutch putin isn't it hence he needs an interpreter at the same time queen margaret and putin margaret and putin what happens here again now again the same case this margaret speaks either jonka or dutch if this person speaks dutch then this person directly can speak without an interpreter or if this person speaks jonka then she needs an interpreter then of sanjo and jiang jemin and of sanjo and jiang jemin now between these two persons there is no language common between and so these two persons cannot speak with each other without an interpreter then what is your answer here either one or two and three and for the third choice definitely an interpreter is required but where's between one and two either one or two can be the answer and so what is your answer here choice for 97 then coming to 98 and besides jiang jemin who can converse with putin without an interpreter and jiang jemin directly speaks with putin and in which language here and these two persons can speak in mandarin then what is the other thing here then queen margaret can you definitely say about this queen margaret here and this queen margaret and this queen margaret with jiang jemin jiang jemin and queen margaret nothing as ends as these two persons can directly speak in english and next one or queen margaret next one joseph estrada joseph estrada can definitely directly speak with him in english isn't it and with putin no with putin jiang jemin and with putin who are the person that can speak with putin now the question is about putin and margaret and margaret and putin is there any language which is common here may or may not be because this margaret can speak dutch or may or not be hence one can be the answer but not definitely then what is the other choice and joseph estrada now in this joseph estrada estrada of philippines again this philippines what happens here this person either speaks jonka or dutch if this person speak dutch and there is no he can directly speak or else this person needs an interpreter and since these two persons maybe directly they can speak with that person or they need an interpreter then what is the other thing left over here and joseph estrada queen magnet or joseph estrada and between these two persons one person can directly speak with that person isn't it because one of the person is speaking dutch then what is your answer here then three and alsanjo absanjo now alsijan absanjo now this person directly speaks with putin or not yes he can directly converse without an interpreter then what is your answer here either of these two persons or this person definitely directly can speak without an interpreter then what is the choice here choice five then 98 now in question number 98 of the languages spoken at this global seminar which are the two least common as two least common means how many persons are speaking english there are three persons and again dutch between these two persons only one person is speaking and these two persons are already speaking there are three persons dutch and dutch and english are spoken by three persons and the remaining two languages 
Mandid and Jonka are exacted by two persons. And which are the least preferable common here? And these two, Jonka and Mandarin. And Mandarin and Jonka, that is choice for. Then question number 100. Now in this 100, if a president of a sixth country is brought into, brought in to be understood by the maximum number of original five, he should be fluent in which? He should be fluent in English as well as in Dutch because these four languages are spoken by three of them. Hence, what is your answer here? One person must be conversant in both English as well as Dutch. English and Dutch choice one is the answer. And this is about paper number 52. Yes, anything left for in this paper? Yes? Any doubts in this paper apart from these questions? 66 to 100? 58. Now question numbers 56 to 60. Now 58. Now in question number 58, what is information given here? 9 and 5.5 5 can be written as 9 into 0.5 is so much. 9 into 0.5 is 4.5 plus 1 is 5.5. 5. And next one 5.5 5 and 6.5. 5.5 5. 5 into 1 plus 1 is 6.5. Next one. 0. 0.51. Next one is into 2. 6.5 into 2 is 13 plus 1 is 14. And 14 into how much? 14 into 4, 56 plus 1 is 57. And the next one 57 into 8. Why? Check out here. 0.5 and 1 into 2, 1 and 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8. Hence 57 into 8 plus 1, 7 into 8, 56 plus 1, 57. The last digit must be 7 only in choice 4. And this is about question number 58. Next. As tell me 56 to 60. 